Good morning, this is Dr. Huang. Today, I am going to show you the procedure for experiment one. This is what we need for experiment one. Before we do any experiment, we have to make sure we are safe, which means we have to wear lab coat and safety goggles. Although this doesn't look very pretty, but it's safe. The first part of the experiment is trying to determine the density of an unknown liquid, which is in this bottle. It should be in your uh, dish. Uh, with a graded cylinder and an electronic balance. What we do next is we have to determine uh, the mass of the empty graded cylinder. Make sure you have to do this in the first step. This is the electronic balance. Make sure if it is not on, press the button on the left. Uh, if the reading is not 0, 0.000 0 gram, you press the button in the center. Uh, if the last digit is 1 or 2, that's fine. OK, uh, we can open the side door and then put the gradate cylinder inside and then close the door. Let's take the reading is 28.222 gram. OK, whenever you get the reading, you need to immediately write it down uh, with a pen. It is 28.22. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. It should be 2. So you cross the 3 out, then you put down number 2. Uh, let's take out the graded cylinder and we add water to the 2 milliliter mark. We don't want to use the dropper to get water directly from the wash bottle because if this is dirty, it will contaminate the whole bottle. So we get a beaker. Let's get some water from the wash bottle to the beaker. OK, let's try to add to the 2 milliliter mark. No, I add too much. And this is time to use this dropper. If you add too much, you get something extra out. Uh, when we add water to the 2 milliliter mark, this is what it should look like. This is a graded cylinder. I hope it looked like that. And then there are some marks here. Suppose this is 2 milliliter mark. And then when, for water, it should show the shape like this. And then the bottom of the meniscus uh, should be aligned with the 2 milliliter mark. And your eye should be the same level as the, the meniscus. And then the next step, we want to get the mass of the graded cylinder with the water. Again, we use the uh, electronic balance to do that. Make sure before you put the graded cylinder on top of the balance, you have to make sure the reading was zero. If it's not, press the button in the center. OK, and the reading is 30.403 gram. So let's put them in our notebook. 30.403. Next, we will add more water to 4 milliliter mark. Get the mass. Add to 6 milliliter mark. Get the mass. Add to 8 milliliter mark. Get the mass. Then finally, 10 milliliter mark. Get the mass. 4 milliliter mark, the mass is 32.276 gram. At 6 milliliter mark, it's 34.296 gram. At 8 milliliter mark, the reading is 36.282 gram. Finally, at 10 milliliter mark, the reading is 38.277 gram. 
for any chemical waste, including water, it has to go to the dedicated waste container. Let's do this right now. Next step, we will add unknown liquid instead of water to the same graded cylinder. First, add to 2 milliliter mark, get the mass. Add to 4 milliliter mark, get the mass. 6 milliliter mark, get the mass. 8 milliliter, and then get the mass. Finally, 10 milliliter mark, get the mass. With unknown liquid at 2 milliliter mark, the mass is 29.875 gram. With unknown liquid at 4 milliliter mark, the mass is 31.461 gram. With unknown liquid at 6 milliliter mark, the mass is 33.045 gram. With unknown liquid at 8 milliliter mark, the mass is 34.609 gram. With unknown liquid at 10 milliliter mark, the mass is 36.173 gram. Then this will be the end of the first part uh, of experiment one. For the second part of the experiment, we are trying to determine the density of the unknown insoluble solid, which is in this vial. With the volumetric flask, which is 25.00 milliliters, and the electronic balance. First, let's get the mass of the empty volumetric flask. With the method I just told you, the mass is 22.791 gram. Next, uh, let's get the bees into the volumetric flask. One, two, three. I finally get 30 bees inside this flask. I'm going to get the total mass. Follow the instructions I just told you. The total mass is 27.533 gram. Then we add some unknown liquid to the volumetric flask. Then we will get uh, the total mass, everything together, uh, which include the flask, the bead, and the unknown liquid. The reading is 45.729 gram. Uh, this is a one-year LabQuest product. We can attach different sensors to take different measurements. In this particular experiment, we are trying to determine the temperature of the liquid we are using. Uh, this is a temperature probe. Uh, look at this end, and we can uh, find an empty slot on the LabQuest device, and then uh, insert in. We should hear a click. This is the liquid we are using, and this is the temperature probe. All we need to do is we insert the probe into the liquid. Let's look at the temperature of the liquid. At the end, do not forget to clean your mask, otherwise the lab manager will not be happy. This is what you should do for this experiment. Okay, unplug the temperature probe and put them inside the tree. And then you have your unknown liquid here. Use a beaker, try to dump out what you have. Make sure you only dump out the liquid. Then we dump the liquid into the waste container and then get the bead out. You must be very careful. And then we put everything back into the tree. Then we're done.